happy Webtoon Wednesday. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. I'm going to be doing a review today on Kill the Villainous. This is complete. It is a historical fantasy romance drama. Eris is not herself. In fact, she's a woman from our world who transmigrated into a novel she read. Of course, she's the villainous. She tried to kill herself multiple times, but never succeeded. She has to do what is written in the novel to make it back home, which means she has to kill the female lead, Helena. Eris is engaged to the crown prince, who is in love with Helena, and he despises Eris. The old Eris would have been heartbroken, but the new one doesn't care. She wants to break off the engagement and then die. On her journey to death, she meets Jason, the dragon slayer, gets herself a loyal knight named Anakin, and finds a witch who is willing to help her get home. But as she tries to play out the novel so she can die, all the male leads who hated Eris try to prevent her from dying for one reason or another. I really enjoyed reading this webtoon. I really liked the artwork. I thought it was done really beautiful. I liked the storyline. I liked how our main female lead was really strong, independent, and smart. I think part of that has to do with the fact that in the real world or our world, she's in her 30s and she goes back and I think she's like 19 or something at the time, um, or her, her character's 19. So she's a lot more intelligent than other female leads would be. So how she goes about getting herself killed, because that's the whole point of the webtoon is like she has to die in order to come back to our world. I think it's just really clever. And there were things that were, I wouldn't necessarily say predictable, but they were predictable in a way like you could kind of like, as you're reading and you're going along, it's like, okay, yeah, the male leads are probably going to end up falling in love with her or become interested in her because she is so beautiful and independent and her personality is a lot different now than what it was before. I also enjoyed the fact that after the end of it or like the conclusion, you get follow-up chapters on side characters. So normally you just have the main lead couple and you get their ending and you might get some special chapters after that to show you what happens later on. But in this one, it shows you how individual characters, like what happens to them, what happens to Jason, what happens to Helena and the prince, what happens to the witch, what happens to Anakin or like stuff that Anakin was thinking during everything that was going on in the maid. So it kind of, it really wrapped everything up really nicely and it just made me feel like it was actually complete and fulfilled whereas other webtoons or manhwa or um manha man, man, i think i'm saying that right sometimes when they end it you feel incomplete or like it's not done or you're questioning and wondering what happens to other characters and this one actually wrapped everything really nicely so I was really pleased with how it ended and I was very happy. I would highly recommend it. If the artist or author comes out with another story I would be very interested in reading it. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later.